Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Ikamalam Bunako. And if you're new to this channel, you are very, very much welcome. Please don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, and be part of this family. Yay! And if you're my retaining savvy, my day one, you know what time it is. So please say it with me. Baby! Thank you and welcome back. So yeah, guys, by the title, you guys already know it's story time, a vibe. So buckle up, get comfortable, load your data, be comfortable, get your fleece, put your phone on your charger. Because I'm about to share with you guys another juicy story. Another... I'm about to snitch on myself or rather share a part of me again but obviously you guys know we always have something to drink if you not have something to drink we're definitely gonna have something to eat so in today's video we are not doing a cider or a wine we're gonna be doing champagne because I have booze in my fridge that I bought in December or rather my friends are bought in December but they couldn't finish so I have so much booze in, in my fridge I'm just trying to clear that up I need to clear that booze up but like I can't throw it away I have to drink it okay so in today's video we are having her crone um which one is this one yo he brought Lena. we okay we're having a brute crow brute right and yeah so let me let me let me open this thing up so i'm opening it up hopefully it's not gonna explode on my couch because if it does i'm gonna scream when are those people going home yo guys i stay a mall inside the mall so you, you can imagine the noise okay so we are having champagne because we're celebrating the 10k right we're celebrating 10k subscribers and also we are celebrating a new year okay so um i look old again okay that's better um again another thing that i feel like i need to put it out there we're doing a giveaway guys i will be doing a giveaway of a thousand rand voucher um if you're not following me already please follow me on instagram because i'm gonna put everything that is required for one to win um, the giveaway on my stories. So if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow me. It's Nako underscore Maola. Please don't miss that, miss that out. Okay, let's open this champagne and just celebrate life, celebrate the new year and celebrate 10K. So we, we're doing champagne today, darling. Okay, we're doing crown though. Woo! I didn't get a little bit, guys. Remember to see what, you know what, it's, it's fine. I just hope it doesn't explode on me, right? Let's do this. Ooh, go! I like the sound of fish and pompo. And I'm going to give me like my puma and jiggers is thick. Like, wow. My impumumt. Okay, so I'm going to use my glass, my champagne glasses. And just, yeah. Before we get to the story. One thing about me, I might have a full glass. Okay, so so your glass, your cider, your your water, whatever it is. Cheers to the new year, to 10k, to love, to great things, to yeah. Cheers. Okay, so yeah, I'm back with the story time, guys. You know, most of the story times we 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 we'll be in the mood for story times, right? So basically, I'm just gonna share um, a story time um, about an ex friend of mine. Me and this person that I'm gonna talk about here, we're no longer friends. Um, how do I feel about her? nothing i feel nothing absolutely nothing okay and i feel like I, I'm, I'm here on youtube to share certain experiences of mine and this is one of those um 
And yeah. And besides, this is my story to tell. It is claim. I'm not trying to make anyone look bad. I'm not trying to make myself look good. And um, with this story, maybe I was a bad friend. Maybe also, you know. But yeah, basically, this is a story about my friendship. A friendship I had that I valued so much. Loved that person so much. And unfortunately, things didn't go out or work out for us. So let's get into the story so um me and this girl we grew up in the same neighborhood okay guys um let's give her a name her name is uh let's give her a name let's call her usia me and usia um grew up in the name neighborhood um i met usia through my other friends right and yeah through my other friends these friends of mine were friends with her right so that's how we met i was not familiar with her or rather i mean but yeah that was the situation so um i fall off with these friends that i hate right and she was basically the only person who was not really in my corner but the only person i could talk to the only person i was comfortable talking to the only person i enjoyed talking to and being with right so we kind of created a friendship of our own apart from those friends right so yeah so um things were great man like we were friends we used to share a lot um she was older than me um i was still in high school and she was working if i'm not mistaken yeah she was working and now that time i was still in school yeah now i was still in school so right so us being friends we share a lot we talk about men we talk about what we want in life the life we want to live and you know we had we had certain dreams certain dreams and in all honesty as older as she was i kind of envied her right i kind of looked up to her I keep saying this I kept like I looked up to her because she was older than me and um, yeah and she had a way with things she has she had a good fashion sense something that I didn't have or I still don't have because child yo your goal would be struggling in these fashion streets okay so she had a good fashion sense I really loved that about her she was passionate about her appearance she was she was all that and obviously I looked up to her as an older sister slash best friend right so I thought like I, I had an impression that me and her now we were like tight tight right um so I'm not gonna be dwelling much on other incidents. Maybe I'll do other story times and just tell you guys other certain things that happened in this friendship of ours. But I'm just gonna share this experience that I had. Like I invited this friend of mine to a trip with this guy. So I met this guy, okay guys. I met this guy from he's from Joburg, right? Um I met this guy in Bumalanga. I had a trip in Bumalanga with my other friend. Met this guy. So me and this guy kick off in a good place, in a good start, right? This guy likes golf. Yeah, that's his hobby. It's golf. So um, I was back in East London. This guy is in Joburg. And then this guy tells me that they're going to play golf in was it Nisna? Nisna George in between those two places. Okay? Hi, okay, guys. I can't. And then this guy tells me, listen, I'm coming with my two other friends. You know? So, if you have two other friends, singly, looking, don't hesitate. Don't hesitate to bring them along. Right? And Yannick and me being me, yo, I hit up my booze. Obviously, the first person I'm going to hit up, guys, is my bestie my bestie and at that time of our lives 
I was also out of high school at this point. I was, yeah, I was out of high school. I was studying though. Yeah, I was studying. I was, I was doing something else. And yeah. And I was no longer staying at home, right? So at that time, nah, yes, yeah, she, she was working, right? As usual, she was working. And then this, uh, this other friend of mine, the second friend, um, she was she was studying as well. She was also like she was in university at that time. Also, she was also a childhood friend. Yeah, but well, she's also a childhood friend. We still we still friends. Me and the other girl. Let's give the other girl a name so that we don't confuse these two people. Let's call the other girl Usnazo. So we have Usia and Usnazo. Usia is my childhood friend from M Tanzani and stuff. And then. Usnazo is my childhood friend from Queenstown, right? From Simo in Queenstown. So, but they've never met before. Like, Sia and Usnazo, they don't know each other. They've never met. Basically, no mutual friends type of vibes. Yeah. So, I hit my girls up, guys. I'm, I'm like to my girls, girls, ladies, my Tumbrizani. Um, so there's this guy and this guy is going to play golf in George He's coming with his two friends and they invite he, I'm invited they say I should bring my two friends if you are free if you want to come you guys can pull through right I get guys nyani na but they are willing they're like oh no no problem and stuff and stuff and stuff so obviously um so I'm told Uti, guys these guys are singly these guys you know so we're gonna go there and vibe and have a good time. I can, no problem. Long story short, um, this guy's book us he, 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 he transport so that we're able to go to George. Hello. Hello. Yo, this guy needs to stop calling me, bro. Like, stop calling me. Stop. Stop calling me. Shit. They don't give a shit. So, okay, guys, um, at this point, he right, I'm telling this guy, God, listen, I have two friends of mine, they're willing to come, and he says, okay, cool, just give me their details so that we can book accommodation, transportation, and all that stuff, right? And then, fine. So, my friends are curious, like, can you see these guys we are going to meet up with? And then, Yannike, I show them the pictures of these guys. Like, okay, you know how we are, ladies, but no, 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 they pick, they pick and choose. They pick and choose, right? Um, so Osia with the guy she chose before we even go there, guys. They they kind of jail, yeah. Well, so Osia is receiving money from this guy. I think she asked for money from this guy to buy whatever, and then this guy sent money and stuff and stuff, right? Um, so she's telling me about this, but dude, this guy sent me money and 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 I'm like, really? Oh, that's nice. Right, so now is the actual day for us to travel to George. Okay, guys, we, we, we meet because there's no flight from East London to George. You have to take a bus. A bus, see? Things we do for men. Wow. But yeah, that's not the point. Okay, guys, we travel. We travel to um, to George, but so Nyani guys, we we get to George and the guys pick us up, or my guy pick us up, and fine. I think the very first night we got there, took showers, and pretty much didn't do anything. I think we had something to eat and then we slept. Ne? Yeah, it's, it's, it was a long time ago, so. Obviously, at this point, these girls have been chatting to these other guys. So, vibe, guys, it's my dad, I'm We're all adults. 
the vibe is just jelly. The vibe is is what it is. So me, I, I know this guy. I've been with this guy. You know, I've already done the things with this guy. So Nyanke, we we went to bed and we slept. The following day, these guys woke up and. I think they woke up very early because they had golf right so when they woke up my guy leaves me some cash right saying take yourself shopping go out shopping you guys go have breakfast lunch because not gonna be with you guys the whole day we're probably gonna see you guys later right so just do something fun just explore this George place or nice nine whatever and whatever and whatever right I get guys, I'm like, what? Great! I okay, came, this guy leaves. So obviously, after they left, I jump off my bed to check on my other girl. Like, go! Oh, what are you doing? How are you? Like, how was the night? And 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 we want to talk about those things, Mustina. But how was he? How was he? Is it a ten? Is it a nine? Is it a week four or a week six? How is it? You know, like those are the things we women would want to talk about. Like, okay, me and my friends, I don't know about you and your friends, but my friends, we talk about those things. We want to know is it a week two? Like, how is it? How is it? You know? So, obviously, Gengoku, uh, Snazo, right? Snazo is excited. Snazo, Snazo is like, yo, Snazo was happy, guys. Snazo was like, guys, I had the most intense night like it was epic so that was like it was epic and 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 right and then we go check on osia osia is looking down guys like, osia is downy um and by the way osia is is, is is sleeping i think on a guest bedroom bedroom sorry on a guest bedroom no longer with the guy that she was gelling with even before we got there right and she, she's like, nah, she, it's like she's not happy, she's not feeling the vibe, and it's okay, right? So, Osnazo is showing me that um, this guy gave him gave her some money to go to shopping, and I'm like, yeah, me too, girl, I got some money to go do some shopping. Obviously, we see, I get the job with this guy, yeah, well, so she slept in a separate room, she, she was just into her feelings, and that's fine. I get guys, we decide go to look, let's go out to have something to eat and stuff. And we went out with something to eat. It was nice we we explored nice now. It was beautiful. Never been that side of the town. All of us. Um, we did some shopping, we did some branching, we did some drinking. Right? I mean we have the whole day to ourselves. We're catching up, we're getting to know each other while Sia and Snaz were getting to know each other. We're snapping, taking pictures. It's nice. It's a nice vibe, guys. Like, it's a great vibe. At this point, it's a great vibe. I can. Um, we went back, obviously, and the guys came back from golf telling us about golf, not that we cared because we knew nothing about golf, especially me. Okay, well, all of us didn't. But yeah, yeah, well. I get to it. Fine. Long story short, obviously it's another night. Galalwakazi, we slept, woke up the following day. This following day, it's a Sunday. We are leaving in the evening because our bus was leaving I think around twelve in the evening, midnight. Yeah. Well, so when we woke up we, um you know we it's, it's, it's that vibe oh by the way we decided to go to the beach because our accommodation was close to the beach went to the beach and um the guys were not there obviously they went to play golf and we chilled went to pool we did like fun things right took snaps and all of that so in the afternoon now the guys are back and then we all decided to go to was it george i think we went to george i, I went to nice to have a supper day, right? So we went there and it was nice with the guys now. We chilled all of us and came back. And while we were driving back, right? Well, while we were driving back, um, got home, um, my guy gave me some money, right? This guy gave me some money, like proper money. Okay? Gave me some money. 
And I told my friends, like, dude, this guy just gave me this much. Right? And it was it was a lot of money. Especially at that time. It was a lot of money. Now, fuck no. The guy gives you that much, I'm like, where's the rest? <laughs> I'm happy, you know, I'm excited because, yeah, man, I have money. At the end of the day. I can Also, also, Snazu got some money from Hemet. Cause we're gonna call him then because they were like they were like this basically um obviously see i do oh, don't get money because she had no one anyways also the guy that was interested in here was like over her in a way we also don't know what happened between the two of them they seem to be getting along when they were not they when they haven't met each other when they met each other it happens guys sometimes you don't gel with the person when you meet them in person, just your, your, your blood or whatever, just... And then I went to Usia's room. When I got to Usia's room, Usia's room is locked, right? And I'm like worried because she was sick. You know, she, 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 she said she was not feeling well. She, had a, she said she had a stomach bug or something, but she was sick, you know? She said she was vomiting, like in jail. So I assumed that maybe it was food poisoning because we just came from eating out. So I went there to check on her. Opening the door, the door is closed. I'm like, and then I check on my guy now. We're like, where is my guy? I can see everybody's guys is here. Like every guy is here except him. Where is he? You know? And then I tell Usi, yeah, but what? Are, did you see this guy? Usi so like, no, I did not. You know? So he's like to me, check on. No, not see. I mean, Snazo. I asked Snazo. Like, did you see my guy? Snaz is like, check on Sia's room. I'm like, what do you mean I should check on Sia's room? Why would I check in Sia's room? So I'm like, why would I check there? But gay, okay, long story short, I do, guys. So what I did, right? Um, the place we're in is sort of like a house that has the stairs. So when you're upstairs, there's also a balcony. When you're at the balcony, you can see there's a sliding door in all the rooms, right? So when in the balcony, you can see anyone coming out of any room using the sliding door. So I stand by the balcony and I see my man. <laughs> I see my man coming out of Sia's room. Men coming out of Sia's room, guys. <laughs> you know when they say sometimes you can be stupid in love. I think they'd be talking about me. Because when I think about a whole lot of ish that I let slide because i had so much love for my friend i'm like b you were damn dumb like guys i know i was damn dumb so i went to her room i'm like excuse me what just happened i'm seeing this guy coming out of your room And she's like, oh, well, I thought you knew. I'm like, you thought I knew what, T? No, I thought you guys spoke about it. He said you guys spoke about it. You are okay with it. Now, guys, the comes with relationship, the comes with family, the comes with friendships. In the AMG, honestly, it just needs some prayers with white candles. What? I'm like, really? Oh, is it? 
as I left, I went to the guy. I'm like, what the f? Did this guy say? I thought you, I thought you, you guys spoke about it. Actually, she said you're okay with it. <laughs> guys, that's how sour my trip was. Came after that, I kept quiet. Honestly, I didn't. I didn't feel like saying anything else because besides anything, the guy was not someone I was serious with, if I can say. Yeah. I just met the guy. We've been vibing for like, what, four months? So, ah, I was like, you know what? I guess such things happen. And she, 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 she said she didn't know. Like, okay. And I'm thinking, baby, weren't you sick? How, how are you sick and having sex at the same time? So, okay guys, at this point, I am just shooketh, I am defeated, I am, I am all, all sorts of teens, hey? I'm really all sorts of teens. And each of them guys doesn't see anything wrong with this whole picture. Like, I could tell, go to, I come on define, it's like, this is our thing of sharing man, like, I can have him, then when I'm done with him, I'm gonna pass him over to you. Make sense? She's like that. And then she goes and tells me, well, um, the guy sent her 2000 Which is not even half, let alone quarter of what I got from this guy. I'm like, oh, okay. So I'm assuming maybe she did that for money. I don't know what it was the motive, but then again, this guy said to her, I'm cool with it. So she says maybe um, I was afraid to come and ask her or tell her that, that this guy wants her. Like, so you're gonna reject the guy we're vibing with the whole time because, well, well, you, 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 you hoping for the one that I am with. But then again, I can't say much because maybe Game Shaminam, the guy was like, nah, he ain't feeling me. You know, guys, that thing happens. So I think it was one of those situations whereby Do you get it? When you see the other friends then you're like uh, it, Maybe it was that type of vibe, obviously And now okay, guys, we're going back home The ride is awkward But I can't do it because I was like, it's whatever And Snazo is not understanding Snazo does not understand But how does that happen? How does another person do that to their friend, right? Fine. Long story short, I am like, right, sulking about this whole situation, but not towards this friend of mine, Mitchell Zosia. I'm sulking towards the guy. And then this guy, when we're in East London, I think two weeks later or three weeks later, this guy, when we're in East London, initiates that, hey, I'm going to Devon. Do you want to come with to Devon? And I'm like, nah, I don't want to come with to Devon. I am, um, and I had exams that time, so no, I don't want to come to Devon. I like, eh, says okay cool fine friendly I'm see yeah he's like to me I'm sorry about what happened uh, 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 whatever happened in Nizna stays Nizna it was done in Nizna and like can we not let this man come between us and stuff and I'm thinking this is my friend for years like I mean ma'am this is my friend for years how can I do that like how can I let just a random man come between us so I just put that away and just focus on our friendship because like I said, I loved her. I truly loved her. And deep down, wherever she is, she knows how much how much I loved her. I really did. I I I God I loved her, you know? So we move past that. Now, long story short. So um obviously I think two weeks later. After obviously that incident of this guy asking me out to go to Devon with him, me refusing, my friend comes to me, tells me that um, her other friend um, invited her to Devon because this other friend is gonna meet these guys in Devon and stuff and stuff, right? But then again, Mosimina, guys, Mina, I'm sure you guys have picked it up now, but him, right? It can be slow sometimes. Hey, it can be slow most of the time, actually. So in my mind, 
I did not connect these two people together at all. So I'm like, oh, really? Okay, well, you guys enjoy and stuff and stuff. Nyani guys, they went to Debeni, they snap pictures, they're having a good time, right? And I asked, okay, my friend had this picture, he was snapping an iPhone on this picture. And I said to my friend, oh my God, you got an iPhone, and I'm happy for you. And then she snapped, she snapped on me, guys. She's like, why don't you, do you think I'm not deserving of iPhone or I'll never have an iPhone? No, 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 no. You like to look down on people. I'm like, babe, why are you hurt? Why are you loud? Why are you shouting? Why are you fighting? Because at this point, it's not even about me saying you can't afford an iPhone. I'm just like happy that you have an iPhone. You could just say it's not yours if it's not yours or whatever. It was not about that. I was just saying, you know, giving my two cents. Like, I'm so happy for you. Fine. We move past that, right? Now, they come back. So they're coming back around 3 a.m. I think their bus was arriving around 3 a.m. So they took a bus from Devon to Islanda. So she calls me like, hey, uh, me and this friend of mine, Ms. Yafika, around 3, can you please um, pick us up, accommodate us and stuff? Go! I was at the bus station by half past 2. When those girls, with, I was there, picked them up accommodated them right they slept the entire okay they kind of told me about their trip it is fun and all of that slept woke up the following day they left <laughs> oh my god <laughs> hey i know <laughs> Guys, they are parts. When I tell you they are parts, I've been meaning that shit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Long story short, I don't remember how I found out about this, but I did. Oh no, I was talking to the guy, right? And then the guy is like, What guy is like, he, Oh, well, didn't you tell me, didn't your friend tell you he, he, she was with me here in Deben? What? What? This guy sends me receipts. He's like, No, your friend was here in Deben. To me, we after you guys, if after you didn't, you were not able to come. I invited her. She came through with her other friend, right? And the other friend um, was with the guy that Snazo was with in Nizda. The guy that Snazo was gelling with, right? So that guy was with that other friend, Garcia. Hey Nina, hey Nina. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Oh my god. I'm like, what? The guy sent me receipts, the guys, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are bus tickets, all of those things. And when I asked Ukel, she was like, I didn't know you had feelings for this guy. Like, why are you always mad about what happens between me and this guy? I didn't know you like this guy that, well, that, that way. You have feelings for this guy. In fact, let's drink. Let's let's drink, guys. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I know. The plung never pal. Yeah. I was like, oh my god, and you lied to me about it. If you really like him that much, have him. You can have him. And I meant it, guys. Nyani, I begged off. I begged off. And, you know, she... She had no remorse whatsoever. She didn't see anything wrong with what she did. Because, basically, I guess I didn't... Um, 
express my undying love for the men. Not that I had undying love for the men. I was still getting to know the men, right? And yeah, I had to peace out on that guy. But obviously, the guy like they all their thing didn't work out as well. But this the, another thing is. I still became friends with her. I continued with our friendship until I couldn't continue with our friendship. But yeah, that's how my friend slept with my boyfriend on our trip. And continued sleeping with the boyfriend behind my back. And I loved this person. Like, she was a huge part of my life you know i grew up alone i grew up being the only child i didn't have any sisters brothers you know so she like she was like a huge part of my life her approval about things my life things that were happening in my life mattered a lot a lot you know so i, I couldn't risk losing her i rather lose Whoever that was coming between us and lose her. That's how much I loved her. On my next video, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys so much. Toodles.